Okay, in this video we're going to do the top 10 hero mashes that I own and we're going to look at the top 10 and the only one that I would put that I haven't got is C3PO, I haven't got that one yet but if I had that he'd be in the top 3 probably so these are the ones I've got currently, I've got quite a few so I'm going to look at the top 10 of these figures and so we're going to start with number 10 and then count down to number 1 which I think are the best of the hero mashes. Some are from two packs and others are single carded and some are deluxe figures. So we'll start with number 10. Three honourable mentions. So there's the Darth Maul with the spider body, all the robotic legs. He's quite a nice figure. Uh, if the spider body had been a bit bigger, then maybe he would have made the top 10. It's quite a nice figure though. It's got nice paint on the body and it's got switchable legs. This is a deluxe figure. Then you've got Kane and Jarrus from Rebels. He's quite a good figure. And yeah, he would have almost made it onto the top 10. Nice looking figure. And then Admiral Akbar, he's another quite nice looking figure. But I don't know, maybe just too stylized, he just doesn't make it into the top 10. So these three are honorable mentions, okay? 10 is Plo Koon in his cold weather gear. And I like this figure because of the head sculpt mainly. It's got good head sculpt. And it comes with this double bladed lightsaber. Figure's okay overall, it's got nice sculpting. And yeah, so Plo Koon. And he's one you don't find too often in the UK, so he's number uh, 10. Good look at the head. So that's number 10, Plo Koon. Number 9 is just the regular Stormtrooper. And he's quite a good figure. There's a black stealth shadow Stormtrooper as well, but I prefer the right version. It's more classic. So he's number 9. Comes with a blaster. Great looking figure. So that's number nine, the Stormtrooper. And he's quite a nice looking figure. Okay. This is Chewbacca. And he's quite a big figure. Comes with this bowcaster with a green blast coming out of it. And he's a quite a nice looking figure. Bigger than most of the hero mashes. So not a bad looking figure. And he's number eight. Chewbacca. Looks quite nice. So that's number nine, eight, Chewbacca, Hero Masher. Okay, not everyone's favourite character, but he's a well executed figure. It's Jar Jar Binks, number seven. And he's quite a nice looking figure. He comes with a really nice shield. And yeah, he's nicely sculpted. Really looks like Jar Jar. Nice paint details in the figure. So he's number seven, Jar Jar Binks. Quite a nice looking figure. <laughs> Not that he's everyone's favorite character. It's just a well executed figure. So that's number seven, Jar Jar Binks. Misa, number seven. Six is, these are from two packs. This is the Han and Luke best spin. And yeah, I mean, they're as good as each other, these figures. I mean the head sculpts are okay, but the costuming is pretty nice. Han comes with that blaster there and the breathing mask. And he has nice detailing on the costume. And Luke comes with a switchable hand. Here he's got the force effect on it and a lightsaber. Uh, could do with some weathering on the costume though. But still a nice looking figure. Head sculpt's not brilliant. But these two are equally as good so these are our number sixes so Luke or Han best Bespin they're as good as each other and these are from two packs okay so that's my number six choice I believe yep so those are my number sixes Luke and Han Bespin so, I mean they're as good as each other number f let me see number five is the Inquisitor and I really like this figure it's quite simplistic, but it's very nicely executed, this figure. I mean, the face is really great. I love the 
markings on the face and yeah it's a really nicely done figure comes with a double bladed lightsaber which is really well done the figure's slim looks quite menacing in that sort of Hiramasha style so he's my number five choice a great looking figure and I'm quite surprised how much I like this figure great looking figure so this is the Inquisitor he's a really nice looking figure okay so that's now in number five the Inquisitor from Star Wars Rebels four choice is Greedo and I just think this figure is amazing it's really nicely stylized great sculpt on the costume captures the out uh, new look from uh, a new hope with the green you know it's really nice head sculpt as well and it comes with this blaster with a firing effect this is a really cool figure so he's my number four choice this is Greedo Hero Masha and as you can see it's just an amazing figure so if you're a fan of Greedo this is a figure you want to get excellent figure so that's Greedo Hero Masha number four excellent figure number three is Darth Vader and he's just a great figure this is the regular single carded version and this is the version from the two pack both are excellent really stylized figure just looks amazing I really like the chain on this one so probably the single card with Vader's number three great looking figure displays really well and if you're a Vader fan this is a must-have figure because it's just so cool and this one's got a force effect coming out of his hand we've got a swappable hand with this figure this is from a two-pack great looking figure and this one from the two pack. So Vader is number three. Excellent figure. Yep, brilliant. Number two is the Boba Fett from the two pack. He comes with a firing missile. The regular carded version comes with a flame effect, but I think the missile looks better. Comes with two blasters. This is just such an excellent figure. It's got lovely detailing there. Dark red yellows this is just such a cool figure rocket pack there's the refining missile so this is such a cool figure everyone loves boba fett i mean really he could be number one but i've got another choice for that so this is number two boba fett excellent figure and this is the one from the two pack and you can get um a single carded Boba Fett as well. I, put, I like this one because of the rocket firing effect. It just looks so cool. So number two is Boba Fett. And now we're ready for number one. But I mean Boba Fett's almost there number one. It's really hard to choose. It's such a cool figure. Number one is General Grievous. And this is one I only got recently. But I think this figure is just amazing. I think he's a deluxe hero masher. Comes with four lightsabers. Two sets of arms. There's a rotating thing at the back that you can rotate the figure, figure's arms, like that. This is such a cool figure. This Boba Fett is, I mean Grievous is just such a cool figure. It looks great. Sculpting on the figure is great. Really stylized, but displays so well this figure. And yeah, such a nice figure. Okay, so this is a really nice figure. This is Grievous. Deluxe figure, number one. Excellent figure. Okay, 